What is one of the best ways to spend the day? A day at the range, of course. Now most people are gonna have to pick up and go to the range. That can be a time consuming pain in the ass depending on how many firearms you wanna take and how much gear. Now, if you own several pistols and you take them to the range, you might wanna consider GPS backpack. Check it out. I'm Drew, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion. I was not always able to simply walk out from my dining room onto the range. I was like most of you, and I had to plan, pack, travel to the range, and I'll be honest, I don't miss those days. As always, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech before we get going. Hey, that looks great. Only thing that I see that may be an issue for some of you is the MSRP. With that said, it is what it is and you get what you pay for. Only way of looking at it is you should never have to buy another one of these ever again. You'll have to decide for yourself. Okay, before you decide if that MSRP is too steep for you, let's just take a look at what all we can get into this and the features and then you decide for yourself. Okay, so we're just gonna run through here. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this. This is my paper. I've done actually videos on how to do targets cheap. And we can hold that. We'll just set that out. Then we're gonna start with the top compartment. This is kind of the big one. This thing is honeycombed. It's got a internal frame so that the weight of what I put in here doesn't collapse down on the guns. We go to any target range. And of course we need some sort of shooting rest it's got another compartment for hearing protection, but I like my classic muffs. And then of course, we need ammo. And depending on how much ammo we're gonna take, we're gonna have somewhat limited capabilities. Then we're gonna open up this first pocket here, and I just put in some extra mags. It gives us a little extra space. You can put in there whatever you want. Then our next pocket, okay, we open this up. We have our glasses case here. Take my Oakleys out. We've got the small hearing protection. I don't like those. I've got my big ones, but we could put something else in there. And then we have phone. You can put your keys in there. And then there's an internal pocket in here as well. And then we've got this bottom compartment. We've got these cups and I'll show you here what we can do with these cups. We set these down and basically we can use these to just put our ammo in. And then if I wanted to use another kind of ammo, okay, I could put that in here or I can use one for spent brass. Here we got a pocket for tools, whatever else you want to put in. And then this, this is nice. This is the perfect size for putting our jags, cleaning patches, brushes, anything like that. We could also use this front pocket here to put in a cleaning solution or a boar snake, something like that. Okay, then over here on the side, we've got... It's got stuff labeled. You don't have to use it for the labels. This is our stapler. Gotta have a stapler. I went ahead and put my targets in there. My uh, Birchwood Casey Dirty Bird targets. And then we've got the next compartment here. This is for tape. It's always good to have tape. We can tape over the bullet holes or tape up if we run out of staples. Then we go to the gun compartment. Okay, this has the capability of holding four. Okay, first one here. Now all four of these are gonna be the same. Oops. 
Okay, we just open that up. We've got a padded divider here. And then we can put four mags in here. With this Glock, I even wanted to test the 30 or 33 rounders and they do fit in here. So we've got four mags plus the one in the gun. And we have a pocket up here that we can actually put another smaller firearm. Now, I'm gonna tell you that when we fully load these, we're not gonna get the three of them in this back compartment. Let me show you that. Hey guys, if you like this review, if you follow my channel and you wanna keep the reviews coming, YouTube is pretty much demonetizing almost everything related to firearms. What supports Beyond Seclusion is using my links to shop. Shop is if you always do it, costs you absolutely nothing. You go to Amazon, you go to PSA, primary arms, any of these, if you simply go in through my links and get what you are normally gonna get, that supports Beyond Seclusion. I got a link down here that shows you how to do that quick and easy. Guys, I couldn't do it without your support. Thank you. So this is our main compartment where we should be able to hold three. Now I do have three stuffed in here, but this middle one, it was getting way too tight. If I fully load them, this is the only downside that I found with this, if I fully load those with the mags and the firearm of that size, I could not get all three in here. So I did, and I crammed them in here pretty good. The third one, I had to pack light. I've got my Springfield Hellcat, but I was not able to also include the mags, which is why I have them in the top pocket. Okay, I've got another Springfield. And I got all the mags for it. And then I've got a Ruger. Now I almost forgot the rain cover that's built into it. You gotta check this out. There you have it guys, it is what it is. You decide what you think. All of this fit in here in one bag. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, make sure and help support the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. I can't emphasize that enough. Hitting that subscribe button is one of the greatest things that you can do to help support the channel. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.